Yo guys, Mike for Sim Racing 604 and welcome to Race Room Racing Experience for the first time in a long time. I've had this one on the back burner. Um, if you were to sort of count down the sims I've put the most hours into, uh, this would actually be top five. I played a lot of Race Room back in the day. Not so much lately for whatever reason. I think there's just... Ugh. It's a horrible start. Um, I think there's just so many great options in the sim racing world that for whatever reason, uh, Race Room has kind of fallen by the wayside for me. But wanted to fire it up here. There is a new tire model at play and also the ACC GT2 announcement got me thinking that I want to race in GT2. So that's exactly what I'm doing. So we're here at Monza, which I'm sure you probably could figure out on your own and uh, racing the GT2 cars. So I'm driving the Audi. We also have Porsche and KTM out there. Those are the other two cars available in the GT2 class in this title. And the new tire model has actually been applied to all of the cars here in Race Room. So I've tried a few of them, though admittedly nowhere near all of them. There's a ton of content on offer in this title. And uh, yeah, they've applied the new tire model to all. So uh, yeah, it feels really, really good. It's, uh, you know, the cars feel alive underneath you they bounce off curbs and uh you know as there's sort of undulations in the road you can feel it nicely through the wheel so yeah they've done a great job here there was big force feedback improvements when was that a year or two ago and so it's kind of sort of tied into the overall strategy of race room i thought they might have moved on from this title and moved on to newer things but it seems that there's still a lot of work going on behind the scenes for race room racing experience and the payoff is actually tremendous this car, this sim feels better than ever and with the huge amount of content on offer it's definitely worth considering race room if you haven't tried it before um, the good news is it is a technically free to play sim you get a bunch of content for free when you download the race room racing experience and then you can add uh, content a la carte later. You can also get packs and there's plenty of videos, including some from yours truly on which cars you should buy. But there's such a massive range of options in this title. Um, you know, you can basically find a series that you follow in the real world or cars that interest you in the real world and fire it up here in race room racing experience. Yes, I keep wanting to say race department. That's why <laughs> every time I say race, my voice drops out, but uh, yeah, Race Room Racing Experience is where we are. Tons of content on offer, and by the way, you don't have to, even though it is paid content, most of the content here in Race Room, you can actually try it uh, in test drive mode beforehand. There's no time limit either. Uh, they just give you a track and they let you race that KT. Oh, look at this. Uh, and they let you race that car as long as you want, just by yourself to get a feel for it, decide if you like it. And I think that's a really cool thing. So before you, you know, invest your hard-earned money into content that you might not use, you get to try it out. So we started eighth, and by dint of a spin and a few lost positions, we've gone down the ranks and then back up. So now back into eighth position, got 10 laps here. I'm hoping that by the time I kind of settle into the feel of the car, I've done a few practice races here, so I've kind of got a feel for things, but not entirely. Uh, but I'm hoping by the time I sort of get sunk into this car, we can maybe churn out a podium finish here. We will see how things go. I'm going to, oh boy, I'm going to try and get a uh, toe from J Bell in front of me, but it doesn't look like that's going to be possible. Already pulling out 1.4 seconds and climbing. Look at that gap at the top of your screen. Look at that gap climb between me and the car ahead. Try for some clever braking here. J Bell went very wide, so I was able to close that gap down from what was it, 1.7, 1.8 seconds down to 0.8. So gained a full second back at least under braking there. And we're now running lap three of 10 here. Field has spread out. That accident that we saw with the Porsche sideways across the road uh, plugged up a bunch of the cars and there's a 15 second gap to the car behind now. So no worries about pressure from behind. Question is, can I pressure the car in front? The answer is yes, I'm there right now, but how do I get by him? We shall see soon enough. And by the way, you see that warning for cutting there 
That is also a somewhat new feature here in Race Room. They added that you must have one tire inside the white line at all times, or at least one tire inside the white line at all times. Is that fair? Yep. Is it a, a bit off-putting for those of us seasoned Race Room veterans? Yeah, you used to be able to get, a, get away with a lot more here in Race Room as far as your racing lines and you know finishing corners wide and such. But no more. They have slammed the doors on that and said, keep at least one tire inside of the white line, sir. Otherwise, you will be warned sternly. Stern warnings from the title. All right, let's get it around there. Again, hoping for a slipstream here. It doesn't look like it's gonna happen. I just do not have this straight line speed to keep up with that Porsche. But, Less of a gap now, at least, so maybe under braking we can get right up on his bumper. That is indeed the case. That's great. All right. So if I can hold it together here. Oh, look at this. I was going to say I could try for an overtake going into the next braking zone, but it looks like it might be closer than that. No, not quite. How close can I get here? Four tenths. There's no way I can beat him in this braking zone. So I will mine my distance here. Whoa, look at this. Hold your line. Hold your line. Still there. Still there. There we go. Now I'm coming for you, T. Christensen. Up now into seventh place. Just about 35% uh, done this race-ish. And it looks like I have closed up on this pack in front in a good way. Oh, look at this. Audi. No chance. One Audi overtaking the other. Now, a bit slower through Parabolica than the AI is, so I just want to keep this close. And then again, it appears that the Porsche has the advantage in the straight line. Pardon me. So I know I'm going to drop back. There's a Porsche. You can see in the top right hand corner, you can see the rear view mirror. I'm holding off the Audi. Porsche's going to try for the inside line here up to seventh gear for the first time, breaking hard into turn one. And I managed to hold him off. That's good. And now we chase C. Hoy in the Porsche. Sixth place. Half the race, almost half the race gone. A little bit late there, but managed to get the car slowed in time. If you're wondering, this Audi GT2, uh, about 640 horsepower, 1,350 kilograms, so more powerful and I believe lighter. What is, what is homologated GT3? 1,400 kilos, dry body weight. So yeah, this is slightly lighter and definitely more powerful than most GT3 cars. 5.2 liter V10 powering this Audi. Oh, we're in fourth, how about that? Although I don't like this. Oh, ho, ho. Yeah, yeah, got a little scrappy there between myself and the KTM. Was it a KTM or an Audi? I can't remember. Either way, got a little scrappy there. But I managed to hold on to it. All right, rounding Parabolica one more time here. So this will, when I cross the start-finish line, mark the halfway point to this race. I am 2.7 seconds back of the car ahead and the Porsches look at him in the in the rear view he's gone he's gone what can I do here 
nothing, nothing. Porsche hard on the brakes. Another Porsche right behind me. This is looking good, but it won't last. I'm just gonna try and tuck in here, get the slipstream, get some free KPHs off Seahoy. Will it work out? I don't know. Got another Porsche on my left. I do respect his line, but uh, in the end, it didn't really matter. So I was talking a little bit there about the, uh, you know, more stricter uh, off-track regulations. Got to keep one tire on. I find that I void a lot of laps with the new rules, so that could be the case for you. So if you keep voiding laps, don't think it's just you. Uh, it's just the way these uh, track penalties now work. They are stricter than what you might be used to in race room. Uh, so, yeah, it's not necessarily something... Well, I guess technically it is something you're doing wrong, but uh, it's not as if you've become a worse driver. They've just become a more strict sim. But it looks like I will manage to make it around this lot clean, even though I'm three-tenths down on my previous best. And I'm a little bit worried about Jay Bell behind me. Is bouncing quite a bit here, not allowing me the traction I wanted. I'm gonna make Bell earn it on the outside here. Now, the question is do I have a shot? Yes, indeed, I do. All right, got the overtake done. We're back into fifth place. It was as high as fourth at one point, as you'll recall. But uh, have since dropped back. Looks like that Porsche is catching up to that KTM. And the KTM is actually holding it back. So could be some BOP issues here in race room. Oh boy, could be some talent issues here at the Sim Racing 604 Studios. Because the driver is just randomly missing apexes. Oof. Little wiggle there. <laughs> We're good. We're good. Managed to catch it. Let's get a good launch here. Oh, come on, Club Sport. Alright, things are not looking good for you, Stangle. Hoy is not here to play. Although, there doesn't seem to be a lot of AI on AI overtaking at this point. And I think that KTM might hold Hoy back, keep me in striking distance here. There will be a Porsche to my right during this corner. I need to watch this. Alright, KTM. Please be slow. What am I running here? 154? Yeah. Past this lap, maybe. Couldn't see. All right, so the Porsche. Trying to get that overtake done on the KTM. You can see them side by side. Porsche should have the advantage in the straight line. Indeed. So Stangle is next on my to-do list, to overtake list. Can I get it done? Hope so. Can I get it done right here? Hope so. Looks so. Done deal. Boy, getting tired of seeing your name in front of me. Want to see that in my rear view? I want to get up into that podium position. Got uh, just over two laps to get it done. Will it happen? I don't know. Oh, that looks like a track limit violation there. And yet, 
Oh, there it is. <laughs> I knew it. And it slowed me on the exit, so Hoy's gonna pull away. Just over three seconds, actually under two and a half to the lead, so I'm doing okay here. Two laps is probably not enough to get the win, but uh, I can maybe gain one more position, get up into that podium position. The KTM behind me, leeching off me. Using that air to its advantage, the clean air down the straight. No move from behind by Stangle. Keeps me in striking distance of Hoy. Did I mention this car has seven gears? Maybe I did, but that's one of the difference. GT2 to GT3. You probably already know GT3 well. One of the differences is the uh, seven-speed transmission here in this Audi. Oh, hoy, you left the door open. And look what came in. All right, Gelf. Coming for you now. Uh-oh. Hoy is mad. I can see anger in those headlights behind me. But can you get it done? Are you close enough? Hoy, no, you're not. Porsche and Porsche to overtake here. This is a rough start to the battle. You can see them pulling away there. That time increasing. Time behind me falling rapidly. Just got to protect that inside line. He's going to overtake me. It's going to be on the outside. Both in striking distance. All right, that was the fastest lap with my 152. So, oh, sorry about that, Gelf. Little tap, little tap. Just letting you know I'm there. I'm under a second to the lead now. Forget it, Hoy, you're not getting that. Again, missed it. Oh, that corner is brutal on me. The sounds here in the race room, legendary. This is by no means the best sounding car in the game, but it still sounds fantastic in my opinion. Where's Gelf? There's that Gelf. Uh, this is final lap. So hopefully I can hold on to this podium. Will I get second place? I don't believe so. Unless I can concoct some crafty move here, but it looks like Gelf is nicely shutting the door. Boy, is less than four tenths behind me. I am going to have to play defense here in the final corner of this race. I feel like one more lap I might have had this W, but I'm going to take the third place as long as Hoy can mind himself back there. He's flashing his lights. Oh, this is going to be close. This is a race. This is a race. Will I hold on to my third? Whew. Close. Close. Super fun, uh, race room feeling better than ever, amazing force feedback, uh, new tire model appears to be paying off nicely, and these GT2s are fun, I look forward to trying a bunch of different cars with this new tire model. Thank you all for watching, we'll see you next time.